How to conduct machine, mechanical and electrical fault finding. This is the farm and maintenance basic engineering channel where you will learn engineering skills for use on your farm or develop or launch your career in maintenance engineering. Let's get into it. Please like comment share and subscribe. Thank you it's really appreciated. We would like the channel to grow and give you good quality informative content. Disclaimer, the videos I produce are for entertainment purposes only. These videos and commentary should not be regarded as professional engineering advice, information or services. Finally, please do not attempt to reproduce anything you see in the videos without the proper training, competency, knowledge, experience, personal protective equipment and tools and equipment. Fault finding. It is necessary for the maintenance craftsman to develop diagnostic skills to identify faults which arise in equipment and then trace the cause quickly and accurately. The diagnosis starts with the simplest and the most probable cause and continues through the less probable until the fault is found. Six key steps to approach to fault finding. 1. Collect the evidence. All the evidence collected must be relevant to the problem in hand. If one is in doubt as to whether anything is relevant, then include it. Reject it afterwards at the first opportunity if it clearly is not relevant. The quantity of information collected is unimportant, what matters is that all information collected is relevant. Observe the system running if you consider it safe to do so. Use all your senses, smell, burning, hearing, vibration, touch, temperature, sight, for unusual conditions. Refer to any relevant documentation. Collect witness evidence but take it at face value and always verify it. 2. Analyze the evidence. Consider all the evidence collected and, if possible, Reject any which after further careful consideration is not relevant. Study the hard core of relevant evidence and through the process of careful, logical thinking diagnose the likely fault or at least the area or region of the fault. 3. Locate the fault. In a sense this is a continuation of the process of analysis. The areas or regions are systematically reduced in size until a specific part can be identified as being faulty. 4. Determination and removal of the cause. If the cause of a fault is not removed, the fault will recur even though the fault has been rectified. 5. Rectification of the fault. This may be a simple task. Whatever is the case, it is a specific task based on earlier findings. 6. Check the system. It is important to ensure that the machine, equipment or system is functioning normally after the cause of the fault and the fault itself has been dealt with. With more sophisticated equipment or systems it may necessary to fine adjust the system in order to return it to optimum working conditions. The following effects may indicate that a fault has occurred or is developing. Vibration. Any equipment of moving parts either rotating or reciprocating will vibrate. In some machinery the effect is so light that it is negligible, in others as example a very large compressor the vibration is unavoidable and the machine is mounted so that the effects are minimized. If a fault occurs in a machine as an example, a worn bearing will cause an unacceptable level of vibration which will arise affecting the quality of the work produced. The maintenance craftsman will have to find and correct the fault. Safety first. Causes of vibration may need to be checked while the machine is running. While inspecting the machine keep well clear of all moving parts and do not wear any loose clothing that risks getting entangled in the machine. Getting entangled in a machine risks severe injury or death. Please like, 
comment and subscribe. Smash that like button. Methods of detecting vibration. Feel. Place the palm of the hand on the stationary parts of the machine if safe to do so. Identify where the vibration is greatest. Take care with high-speed machines, as the vibration may be accompanied by excessive heat through increased friction. Sound. Place a stethoscope on different stationary parts of the machine while the machine is in operation to locate the point where the sound is the loudest. If a stethoscope is unavailable a long screwdriver could be used by lightly holding the screwdriver on top of the piece of machinery to be tested and placing your ear against the top of the screwdriver. The vibration sound will be transmitted through the body of the screwdriver and you will be able to hear it. Visual Indication The vibration may be so great that you will be able to see it without any aids. If not the following method may be used. Place a small tin of light oil at various points on the machine and locate the position where the ripple pattern is greatest. This is likely to indicate where the faulty component is located. Once the location of the maximum vibration has been identified, this part of the equipment should be closely examined for the cause. It may be necessary to partially dismantle component parts of a machine when locating the source of the vibration. To cure the vibration completely more than one source may have to be located. It can be seen in the diagram that the frame has cracked which is holding a pummel block bearing housing which is supporting a rotating shaft. A cause of this could be an unbalanced shaft, an unbalanced loading on the shaft, failed or poor shaft coupling or a bearing failing. In this case it appears a pin of the coupling has bent and unbalanced the high speed rotating shaft causing vibration leading to the frame cracking. Further investigation would be required to find out why the coupling pin has bent. Vibration may be caused by Where in a machine component such as Bearings In the diagram 1am, it can be seen the maintenance craftsman is moving the rotating part of a machine looking to see how much free play there is which could indicate where or a failed bearing. If the bearing has failed the machine will require stripping down and the bearing being replaced. Gears In 1B it can be seen a gear with a number of teeth which are worn through by use over time or more likely from what can be seen has been damaged by a foreign object being in contact with the high speed rotating gears causing damage. This will require the gear being replaced with new or being removed from the machine for repair by building up the missing metal and machining down again so it matches the original. Chains In 1C, it can be seen that a chain pin and plate has been damaged through either wear or damage through foreign object contact. The chain will need to be replaced with new which is likely the most cost effective or repaired by taking out the damaged link and replacing with a new link. Vibration may be caused by out of balance of a mounted work piece or of cutters and arbors. Another cause is the misalignment of shafts and couplings. It can be seen in the diagram 3am, that the shaft is not mounted straight and this will lead to vibration. In 3B, it can be seen the work center is not centrally mounted to the work piece in the lathe which will lead to vibration and likely poor finish to the piece being worked on. Vibration may be caused by lack of rigidity due to insecure mountings or foundations, loose machine components or missing securing bolts or packing. A stationary machine needs to be securely bolted or fixed to the floor of the building it is located in. Sometimes fixings become loose or the machine breaks the concrete the machine is fixed to. This will lead to excessive vibration which could lead to further machine damage. Same with loose machine components and missing securing bolts will lead to excessive vibration which can lead to further damage.
sometimes packing also called spaces constructed out of wood, metal or plastic which are used to make small adjustments to machines and are used to pack out between fixings so the desired adjustment is achieved. Sometimes these fail, become dislodged or fall out leading to excessive free play from where they have come from and this can lead to excessive vibration in the machine. In the diagram 4C it can be seen there is a missing nut which has either vibrated loose and fallen off or has not be fitted during the machine installation or left of by error during the last time work was carried out on the machine. Look forward to maintenance. Machine, Mechanical and Electrical Fault Finding Part 2 where we will look at the fault indications of overheating and causes of intermittent operation of equipment. Thank you for watching. The farm and basic engineering channel where you'll learn basic engineering techniques for use on your farm or for a career in maintenance engineering. Please check out our other soon to come out videos. Please like, comment and subscribe. Smash that like button.